This video is for anyone who wants to score more goals. I believe there are a few of you out there. Goal scoring is one of the most fun we can have on the ice. I know it's something that I love to do. So listen to a clip from my episode 101 of the Up My Hockey podcast with prolific goal scorer Pierre Turgeon. So prolif prolific that he was able to put over 500 pucks in the net at the NHL level. Uh, and hear what he has to say about the mindset of scoring. One thing I try to, and even now, even before, like you shoot 5 or you shoot top left side, you're shooting there. You don't, you're not going to miss it. You're shooting top glove, right side. I'm shooting there. I'm going to score. This one I'm shooting for sure. Uh, and uh, it doesn't mean that it's going to go there, but you might miss it. But after that, again, your process. Oh, you missed it. Oh, it's gone. Next time, I'm shooting left. I'm shooting left under the bar. I'm going to shoot there. And I'm going to shoot to put it there. I'm going to score. So then, that, or 5 -oh, that little hole 5 -oh, or the sticks, right under the sticks to the pad. And, you know, I mean, there's a little area. If you sh shoot there, you, you got to have that just believe that you're going to score. And it doesn't mean that you're going to score. A lot of times you're not going to score. But the process of your thinking is makes a difference, 100%. Mm -hmm. It makes a difference. There's no doubt about that. So you want to score more goals. You don't think there's a mental approach to scoring. You just heard from Pierre Turgeon that your mental approach, your mindset about scoring matters. Do you shoot to shoot or do you shoot to score? What is your programming when it comes to your willingness to shoot the puck? Are you intentional about what it is you're trying to accomplish, especially in practice? It's amazing how many times in my pro career and in my coaching career that I've seen players end the, sh end the drill with a shot, they shoot to shoot, and then they go back in line. They shoot to shoot all practice. There's no thought to what they're trying to do, whether they're trying to shoot off their wrong foot, whether they're trying to shoot in stride, whether they're trying to pick the top corner, or whether they're working on bottom stick or the foot and a half off the ice between the pad and the blocker. There is a strategy to scoring more goals, and there's also a mindset about scoring. And there has to be a competitive spirit about scoring that every time that puck is on your stick, you want to put it not only in the net, but through the back of the net. That's an approach. That just doesn't happen. You need to have deliberate intentionality about what it is you want to accomplish. And when I work with my players and I work with teams and we talk about scoring goals, that is where we start. We start before the practice even starts. What about today is going to be different? How are you going to approach your opportunities to score? What are you going to do? And as Pierre Turgeon says, when it doesn't go your way, how short is your memory? Are you able to take that feedback about why it didn't go in or what didn't happen and just approach the next shot with that same beginner's mind enthusiasm about trying to score that time? So if you want to score, yes, we need to practice our shot. We need to practice our shot deliberately, not just ripping pucks aimlessly, mindlessly into an empty net. We need to shoot, we need to have physical practice, but we also need to apply mental practice to our game, a deliberateness and an intention to scoring that will take your goal scoring to an absolutely another level. Until next time, play hard and keep your head up.